All right, let's get into this. So, uh, essentially, this is. It's not gonna show, but I think it's Hoagie. I think it's a Hoagie. Damn it! Why Discord? Why? Um, cool dude. Sorry, it's taken forever. It's eleven five. I don't remember when you sent this to. Yeah, like six days. I'm so sorry. <sighs> and I have another one. I gotta go find. I gotta figure out where it is. I'm sorry, guys. This has been tough. But um, yeah, your gold is kind of sad. Not gonna lie. Silver's pretty jacked. Uh, actually, no, you're kind of you're me. Um, I would argue that both of these characters can make it to eighty. You could come up short on the destroyer, but that's your first priority because they're right there. Do you have? Sh yeah, you have honor shards too. Definitely the scrapper. You need to whatever gold you get push her. Um. And whatever gold you get pushed to destroy, those are your only two logical options. And then that actually just creates your funnel of three. That's like the perfect thing for you to do. Yours is easy. I can't believe I didn't look at this and do this sooner. Um, you have a couple 1520s that could also make it to 1540, it looks like, just for the extra little bit of value. So I would prioritize bang, bang, 1580, 1580. And then this isn't enough bound material, so I would go to these two next or these three next and get them just to 1540. It's not that many taps, and I think you have enough stones and enough materials. And there's going to be people that are like, don't do that. Oh, just do it. Do it. No, actually, you don't have to do it. If you don't want to do it, we can wait until a nerf because there actually is a... Uh, and we have two updates within a month or two, so you don't have to if you don't want to hit these characters because it is gold, but and it could be turned into silver technically. Um, I doubt it, though. Well, yeah, but that would be the next range because you get 1510 or 1520 for free. So it would be like 1540. They wouldn't do 1580. Um... But they might boost you to 1540 quickly. So, yeah, maybe wait on these. But this will keep you busy for the next couple of weeks anyways. This is a month's worth of effort because of the gold you have. Unless you get a lucky drop. Like, this is at least two or three weeks of farming. So just get those two characters to 1580. Easy. I should have done this fucking six days ago. And actually, with all these materials, get both of these characters. And then, oh, you really could push. But, no. You know what you could do? get these two characters and then yeah the artillerist maybe maybe the artillerist yeah you need to farm gold and if you have tradable mats you have to sell them um let's see do you have does it say I'm about oh, I should have read the notes first. I'm about to finish my uni and planning on to improve further skills for my job. Okay, so uni being university, um, he's um further skills for my job. I'm planning. So I'm guessing he's saying yeah, he's gonna cut down time. I'm planning on to play about two to four hours a day, only so I can find time other than stuff. Okay, so let's just figure out some basic stuff though too, because now that we know what you want, um, let's just go with the happy medium three times seven. 21 hours in a week. Okay, so you're definitely on the lower end, and you're definitely in... It, this is so funny. This is so funny, because I talk so much about the natural progression that when I do this math, it's so weird how often it comes up that the numbers kind of just work out. So, like, you play 10 to 20 hours, and usually what I would recommend for that is one to three characters, two of them funneling one, right? So these two would always be trailing the main, um, and then funneling the main because you can play three characters at the efficiency or more efficiency than playing one character by itself without rest. It's just a fact. Like, it's just how it works. And yes, it does cost more, but you get more. Um, and just, yeah. Uh, and then the other three are just gold funnelers. So as long as they're making at least, like, I don't know, 20k to 30k, who cares, right? Um, you don't, gold's kind of easy to get. But the, um, again, like I said before, it's the easiest resource to obtain apps and playtime you just buy it straight up like that's how easy it is <laughs> you can't just buy silver you can but it's horrible like there's other resources here that are just horrible to buy at different times um gold's not that bad like 600k for 1620 like think about that in comparison to all the rest of the shit that you have to farm you could farm 600k in two or three weeks you can't farm any of these materials that you would need in two or three weeks when i think about it to like 50 to 60 i'm talking about something else I'm seeing shit now. Like I'm like, <laughs> I'm having an argument with something else. But the point.
point is, is you know what you need to do. So two, two 1560s, you have more than the materials. You might even have enough bound shit here to open up and get the artillery, and that wouldn't be a bad move. Because um, I still think, like, if you have enough time to play, or actually that's what we were doing, right? 21 hours. So let's assume each character, one, two, three, uh, and we'll say four, takes about 30 minutes for dailies, because that's what I used to do. Or we could do 20 minutes. We'll do the new, the new one's 20 minutes. You get 21 hours total, we'll do 20 minutes times 4. It's 80 minutes. So it's like an hour and some change. Like, you can literally do your dailies every day. <laughs> um, the hard part's getting raids done for you. But I guess that's what you would have to start with. Um, or again, just capitalize on rest. Yeah, you, you're actually the kind of player, if you're going to be playing... Yes, yeah, 100%. If you're going to be playing less, you need to get these two characters to 1580. And you need to start capitalizing on rest, which means that you put your dailies on the back burner. And so what you're actually going to be doing is uh, a person who's playing one main character. Like, your focus is one main character. A person who's playing one one character times that 20 minutes a day times 7 minutes a day. This is what you should be putting into your main. Right? So we're going to do that again. Um, 20 minutes times... Uh, just seven, right? Yeah, because it's just one character times, uh, or just divided by two. Six Struggling here. Struggling here. My brain's frying. Um, okay, so that's two hours out of the week, out of the twenty-one hour week, I think. That's, that's not even that bad. It's not even that bad. It's really not. Um, so you did, we had 80 minutes times 7 days, because it would be 4 characters, right? Divided by 60. It's 9 hours, so half of your time could be put into dailies, half could be put into raids, and you really only have to prioritize raids on 1, and maybe 2 and 3. Like, if you could do it, it would be really important for you, because of the gold. Like, you do need the gold. Um, but, either way, even if you do lower level rates, that's the thing. Um, but yeah, could you bang out the raids in 10 hours? So let's just see. Let's imagine this is 3 hours, 3 hours, three, or we have to do 4.5, 4.5, 4.59. 5, yeah, so you could get like two characters done. Um, yeah. If this is what you want, I do bust all my 1560 characters as well for money. See, and this is awesome, because I love how he didn't oversell bussing. Because um, bussing is good. It is extra gold, like 100%. Um, I guess my problem is, is I always just tried to argue that the dailies are just the best. <laughs> it's because of the rest bonus. Like, if it wasn't for the rest bonus, I wouldn't even swear to it. But dailies are OP. They really are OP. Um, it's the literal production of the resources in the game, for the most part. Because the raids are all bound, so you can't even trade them. Um, but... Alas, um, that that would be a breakdown. So you're gonna split half and half. You're basically, and you don't even have to do all four of these every day. You can capitalize on rest. So what you can actually do. Um, this is kind of what's cool. I don't know. Let's take. Let's just take three fifteen eighties. Um, three fifteen eighties would be 12 gems and then all the other materials too so we could do all the other materials we could do you know um actually i'm not even gonna do it you know the value you guys are seeing it people who have sauna bills people who have these chaos dungeons you know what the hell we're getting it's worth it it's worth it um oh but the concept that i'm trying to show i kind of do need to do the math actually no i don't so check this out especially guardian raids um i think you get 16 for rested um, because I've been doing them rested, so you get 16 times 3, and I wouldn't do my main on, well, it doesn't actually matter with the Guardians, to be fair in some ways, but, um, 16 by 3, um, times 2.5. It's not bad. I'm okay with that. 120 a week compared to, um, one character times 8 times... Um, seven. Yeah, because I'm rested. 
56. That's not right. Yeah, it's just more production. I mean, in, in the... In the <laughs> that's what's, <laughs> what's funny is that's actually less playtime. That's what I was trying to say before, is that's 90% playtime, but that, like, actually crushes that. I had, I had to have done something wrong there. No, it's one character, eight stones, times seven days a week. Whereas the other one was three characters times 16 stones times three times 2.5 days a week. Yeah, you just need to incorporate rest. You need to go watch some of my videos. <laughs> like, so what I recommend, and maybe I don't have this organized the best, but this is what I recommend. I would come in here and watch these videos. They're pretty good. Some of them might be a little bit out or flawed, or have math that's not 100%, but the ideologies all kind of stand for themselves in some way. Um, or at least I believe they do. And I don't think I've ever really met anybody that really proves whatever I'm saying in these videos wrong, um, necessarily. They do add to it, or they do change it, or they do change the dynamics of it, or add, like, you know what I mean? So that's, you can't get mad at somebody for ignorance, um, if I don't know something. But, like, everything I know, I pretty much do a good job. Um, and I haven't done, I, I haven't, done anything wrong I mean maybe this could have been spent a little more efficiently um, or I don't know I shouldn't have admitted I was wrong I lost fucking like 10 subs for that <laughs> uh, but anyways back to this I don't want this to be too long um, especially because yours is so easy so yeah that's what I would do because actually you even have these two characters that could make 11 million is that correct that's got to be a typo. Because if that's not a typo, then you should push him. He's a giving up on character. Why the fuck do you have 11 million shards? Um, damn. So I don't think you can get 1580 on any of these characters. So those are 1540s. These are, yeah. You, yeah, we have your plan. Play three days a week. Get 120 stones, get two to three times what you're getting right now. And then the same thing applies to your chaos dungeons. Like, if you're doing what I was going to try and show was um, 1580. 12 times 2 times 7 for 1, 168. And then 12. Or it wouldn't be 12, though. So we'll do, like, 18. Do you know what I mean? Times 3. Um times 2.5 I don't remember what the other number was 168 or 135 no it was 168 I think or was it 120 oh no it was this one that doesn't make sense oh I didn't times 2 though did I yeah I don't think I times 2 so 18 times Three times two, because two dungeons, times 2.5. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. So it doesn't matter like what metric you, you put this on. That's why I always say to people, like when you argue this with me, it doesn't make sense because it's scalable. Um, and then people always try to argue that the ones in the other ranges don't count. But that's just not true. Because you can take a five to one and convert if you really want to. And that's, I'm not saying that's efficient. I'm just saying it's extra material. Like you're just, it's cap. It's cap. And actually when it's rested, it's not that bad. Like What is it, 82? We're going to go to reds and stuff, like things that we would want to combine, because the gems are pretty much the same, so, um, let's say 82 reds, times 2, or we're going to do rested, right, so, we'll say 120, 130, we're going to say 130, we're going to go up on this one, because fuck y'all, <laughs> 130, uh, times 2.5, Times two, because it was two chaos engines, I forgot. Um, times three, because three characters. Right? So that's not bad. I mean, it's not great either, I'm not going to lie. Um, put that extra 1900 divided by five. It's 390 of the other reds in a week. That's kind of horrible, I'm not going to pretend. But, yeah. It still produces value. Um, but there is there is an argument for the tier jump to not want to be... Uh, done content wise anymore but I think the gems and everything else kind of balance it out but that does hurt um 
Either way, though, I think the value is there. You're going to want to get this. It's going to help out your roster. It's going to help you push forward. Um, I, I was just looking to see if my mic was muted. That would suck. But yeah, it's going to help you push forward. Like, just being able to take these three characters and then just park whoever you want to park and treat fucking Phil. Just funnel somebody. And what's kind of crazy is I can almost kind of tell if your scrapper was either one of your earlier characters. This doesn't make sense still. Like, the 11 mode is crazy. That's out of ratio. That doesn't make any sense. Um, but the 2.6 here, it looks like a character that you've been focusing or something to that effect. Because that's not going to get spent getting that to 1580, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you're going to have, like, one point, like, some change of mill left. Um, unless you, like, straight pity everything. But, like, you're going to have, like, one point, like, two, one point three mil left. Which means that this character is actually, like, up there with this one or ahead in some weird ways. Um, so what happened there? I can just see it. But level this character home them you'll be good you'll get into content like just don't be a fucking noob watch the videos get good <laughs> get good scrub um the con's not that bad i'm sure you're doing a con on your main um and it's not even about that it's really about the dailies with the rest bonus but um but yeah that's it i don't know what else to tell you it's all about the funnel method go check it out it's all about the funnel method always has been always will be that concept and then I've just refined it over time and used it in other ways and it's sad because we could really make a difference if we could just get that out there but hey uh, not bad though I'll catch you guys in the next one um, I hope this helps I hope that you see what you need to do um I wonder if that's tradable. Either way, I think you're good. I think you're good. You're definitely good to get those two characters, and I really do think if you focus, you can get a third. And here's the thing. This is why I'm recommending this for you, too. Um, it's just the right thing to do, brother. It's the right thing to do. Increase your funnel. Especially right now, because we have a year. Or at least six months to a year. Um... Do you know what I mean? Four months that they mean, and then whatever, like another four to six months after that, uh, for whatever comes. You see what I'm saying? Like, we got time. Time to chill out, time to cool them down. It's a perfect idea to go to two to four hours. And that's what I would do. Yeah. I'm just going to keep repeating myself, so I'm, I'll catch you guys later. I'll see you later.